just a quick rundown on how we're going to go about today's um, um, address. Um, so, so we'll have you giving us your address, and then afterwards, um, one of our very own professors, Professor Bilo Sage, would be engaging with you with some questions. Um, thank you so much for being to join us, um, and um, I will just go ahead and let you give your address. So, how many questions? Um, three questions. Three questions. Yes. All right. Thank you very much, and um, the audience is all yours. Um, you yeah, actually so you can go ahead. Thank you. The officers and members of the Harvard African Law Association, the officers and members of the Harvard Africa Caucus, organizers and staff of the Harvard Africa Development Conference, distinguished delegates and participants, ladies and gentlemen. It is with a profound sense of duty and gratitude that I join you on this virtual platform today at the Harvard Africa Development Conference. Humble by the opportunity to address such a distinguished audience. I extend my heartfelt appreciation to the Harvard African Law Association and the African Caucus for their gracious invitation. And to all of you for your commitment to the advancement of our beloved continent. As I address this gathering here on this esteemed campus from Liberia, I am reminded of the immense potential that resides within each and every one of us and the collective responsibility we bear to harness this potential for the greater good. The Hallow Halls of Harvard University have echoed with the voices of luminaries and visionaries throughout history. And today, we add our voices to this chorus of hope and progress for Africa. To the young men and women of African descent who walk this hall, I say to you, you are the touch bearers of our future the custodians of our dreams. Embrace your education, your talent, and your aspiration are the seeds from which Africa's renaissance will spring forward. Embrace the knowledge you have gained here, but never forget the land from which you came. Africa beckons to you, calling upon you to lay your skills and your passion to the tax of nation building. Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, even as we celebrate the achievements and potential of our continent, we cannot ignore the harsh realities that confront us. For too long, Africa has been plagued by conflict, poverty, and disease. Our journey toward prosperity has been hindered by corruption, by inequality, by
by the lack of opportunity for our people. These are the challenges that we must confront with courage and determination for the sake of our children and their children after them. My own journey from the football page to the highest office in Liberia has taught me many lessons about resilience and the power of the human spirit. It has shown me that failure is not final and that true success lies not in the personal accolades but in service to others. As president, I sought to uphold the principle of democracy and good governance, recognizing that these are the cornerstone upon which a just and prosperous society is built. But democracy is not a static concept. It is a living, breathing organism that requires constant nurturing and vigilance. It demands the active participation of all citizens, the accountability of those in power, and the protections of fundamental rights and freedoms. We must guard against the temptation to view democracy as merely a means to an end rather than an end in itself. Reflecting on my own journey and reminded of the doubts surrounding my commitment to democracy during the transition from the presidency. However, I was resolute in my determination to uphold the principles of democracy, recognizing that the will of the people must always prevail. While the Cuban leaders have a major responsibility in guaranteeing the protection of democracy, the burden of its sustenance rests with their successor. Democracy does not end with elections. We must continue to build faith in a system that ensures a respectable and transparent process and hold new leaders accountable to their promises. As leader and citizen, it is important to hold each other accountable to the values we profess. We must resist the temptation of dictatorship, the seductions of power for its own sake. We must demand transparency, integrity, and justice from our government, from our institution, and from ourselves. And we must not shy away from holding our partners in the international community to the same standard. Too often, the rhetoric of democracy and human rights is used as a blunt tool to advance narrow geopolitical interests, rather than as a genuine commitment to universal principles. We must challenge this hypocrisy wherever we find it, and insist upon a more equitable and just war order. Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, let us remember that the future of Africa lies not in the hands of any one leader or nation, but in the collective will and determination of its people. Let us continue and let us work together across borders and boundaries to build a continent that is truly free, truly prosperous, and truly just. And let us never lose sight of that fact 
that our greatest strength lies not in our resources or our wealth, but in our unity and our resilience. As we confront these challenges, we must reaffirm our commitment to democracy. Not as a hollow slogan, but as a guiding principle that informs every facet of governance and decision making. It is incumbent upon each of us to safeguard the high won gain of democracy and to uphold ourselves and others accountable to its precepts. Let us heed the call to actions embedded within this conference team. Africa delivers romantic path to prosperity. Let us harness our collective resolve to forge a future where democracy flourishes, where opportunity abounds, and where the promise of Africa is realized for all its citizens. Excellency, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, let me leave you with the words of Nelson Mandela, who once said, and I quote, It always seems impossible until it is done. Unquote. The challenges we face may seem difficult, but I'm confident that together we can overcome them and build a future worthy of the dreams and aspiration of our people. God bless you all and bless our continent Africa. I thank you for your kind attention. Thanks for watching. Kindly like, share, and subscribe for more updates. Keep following LB Online TV for more details on this news.